Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mundane Designs. I'm your host, Mundane. This video is part of my favorite series, and today we're going to be talking about the Philips CDI. So in 1991, Philips created their own video game system, although they really didn't want it to be a video game system. I think they were more, you know, leaning towards something like an education system. Uh, that's why there's things like um, the, uh, the various softwares where there's uh, uh, encyclopedias and stuff like that. And Yes, my Philips CDI uh, works. I have one. I don't think I paid more than 20 bucks for it back in the day. But, uh, you know, it's, it's an older system. Uh, I have one of the older uh, 470 series, which is going to be a, a, you know, I have it as a picture up in the upper left-hand corner. You know, I have the, the infrared remote, and I have the, uh, the control pad as well, um, which I was surprised at how expensive the control pad really is. But, uh, so, you know, I, I don't have very many CDI games. Um, thankfully, it's not a copy-protected system, but uh, these are two of the games. Uh, and yes, I only have two of them that are considered my favorites for the Philips CDI. <laughs> they're, uh, I guess they're not in any really particular order because it's, it's, it's kind of hard to pick out like, oh, well, this is my favorite on a system with such a short run. But uh, so first we're going to go through and talk about... I don't know. I, I have a lot of fun with this one, which is Escape from Cyber City. It's released in 1992 by Philips Media. This is a, you know, uh, an action time thing, kind of like uh, Dragon's Lair or Space Ace or something like that, where you have to retire. You know, it's all quick time event. You have to react and do the right thing at the right time and you die a lot um, it, it makes it very difficult to get through the game but there are people out there that have you know essentially just memorized the game and know the timings and stuff and have gotten through it I myself have not done this 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 game is actually based on an anime which is based on a manga uh, the anime uh, is Galaxy Express 999. It's a space opera. Nice. It was actually released in 1978. Uh, a, you know, it, despite its shortcomings, it's actually still a fairly fun game. Next, we have Battleship, uh, released on the CDI in 1991 by American Softworks. Um, it's Battleship. It's the old board game, but it's got some things added to it where there's FMVs where when you launch a missile, the missile goes through the air, and you get to see some cinematic scenes and stuff of old uh, battleships, you know, battling it out and everything like that. Battleship is an old game. You know, originally it was like pen and paper, and it was released in like various formats from various companies. In the 1930s, uh, it saw its first, what I consider, big commercial release by Milton Bradley in 1967. Uh, but it's other than that, it's just Battleship. If I remember right, you can actually play two-player on this one. It makes it a little bit more fun, but you have to you know, be on the honor system and be honest with each other, or you either make the other player leave the room. But uh, it's Battleship, and it's a lot of fun because of all of the extras that they throw into it, kind of like uh, the old computer game or Sega CD game Battle Chess. But it's, you know, I think it's a lot of fun. I'm happy to have it in with my system and stuff. Uh, you know, that's that's pretty much it. Just those two games on the CDI are, are actually my favorites. You know, 
Uh, the systems are getting a little bit older. Uh, some of them are going to have to be refurbished uh, because of the, the battery clock issue. Thankfully, mine has not done that yet, but it is just a matter of time. But, you know, for the $20 that I spent to get the CDI, all of my games and everything like that, and I had to buy the, the external four-button controller later, and that was a little bit more costly, even more costly than the system itself. But, you know, I'm, I'm happy that it's a part of my collection. You know, I wouldn't really give give it up or anything like that, but, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just happy with it. And, you know, if, if you can find one for cheap, I mean, it's not one of those big things where it's a holy grail like a Neo Geo AES or something like that. You know, don't don't overspend on a CDI. Um, you know, yes, it's not copy protected, but no, it's not that hard to actually emulate as well um, if you know what you're doing and know where to look. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. If you like what you see. You can support me and my channel on Patreon by clicking the link below. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.